with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a lot of people asking me, Pete, when is the rain that we've been hearing about finally going to get here? Well, let's talk about that with live Pinpoint Doppler 12. You can see it's not here just yet. We have a few light showers approaching northwestern Rhode Island from Connecticut. And as we pan further off to the west, you can see the showers becoming a bit heavier west of Hartford. But for the most part, we'll just see some drizzle, mist, an occasional shower overnight. It's tomorrow where the heaviest rain will come. That green shaded area right here on your TV set, this is a flood watch. This is in effect all the way through tomorrow evening where two to four inches of rain are possible. Some isolated higher amounts of say five to six inches are possible. I think we'll get at least some street flooding from the rain tomorrow. Stream flooding, well, that's more of a question mark. Those streams which are near the areas which receive the higher amounts of rain will see it. Other areas may not. As we take a look at the uh, wind potential, could see some gusts between 30 and 50 miles an hour, especially early tomorrow morning. I think that will be the strongest time period in terms of the winds. Isolated power outages possible. And also, we'll have to be aware of the possibility of the uh, down tree and power line issue, especially considering that the leaves will be wet. And often when we have wet leaves, it's very easy for those winds to tear the uh, smaller branches off. All right, in Providence right now, 74 degrees. Winds out of the south at 15 miles an hour. Very warm and breezy. Already a gust up to 32 miles an hour in Taunton. 18 miles an hour in westerly Newport. A gust of just over 20. I mentioned the showers now stretching across Connecticut, but you can see this heavier swath of rain still well off to our west. In Pennsylvania, upstate New York, still taking its time arriving to our area. I want to show you just how far down this trail of moisture stretches. You can see it stretches all the way down to the uh, Carolinas and Virginia. Here's a center of low pressure that will push through tomorrow afternoon. That's the most likely time to see some of the heavier rain. And what we're looking at right here is all the remnants from what was Nicole. All right, let's take a look at our hour-by-hour hour future cast. Two o'clock in the morning, all the way through the morning commute. Some isolated downpours are possible, but I think the heaviest rain arrives late morning through the early afternoon. I'm stopping this right around one o'clock, and you can see the yellow representing some of those heavier downpours still coming down by later in the afternoon. And then I think by late afternoon through the overnight hours, the rain finally pushes away. But the Cape, eastern Massachusetts may hang on to some of the downpours as late as 10 or 11 p.m. tomorrow night. Here's what one of our computer models thinks about the rain, and you can see it's right around the two inch mark for Providence down to Westerly, a little over two in Pawtucket, out in eastern Massachusetts, slightly less with the rain. I tend to agree with this model for the most part. I'm gonna go with a little higher though, about two to four inches. That's because sometimes when we get the uh, tropical moisture, the models tend to underdo things just a little bit. So about two to four inches of rain tomorrow with some isolated amounts between four and five inches. And it's those four and five inch amounts that we have to be concerned about. Overnight, windy with some showers. Tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, rain heavy at times, especially say right around the 1 p.m. hour. Temperatures holding right around the 70 degree mark and these high temperatures are actually a little bit underdone. I should probably bump those up to 70 as the uh, timing of the system is pushed back just a little bit. I'm gonna stick ahead, or go ahead to the seven day future cast and show you a beautiful looking weekend. 60s with sunshine as a fall like feel returns to the air. So just some rough weather to get through over the next 24 hours. All right, well, we'll get through it. Now we have big honor tonight right. for our boss man. So we <laughs> want to mention though, our uh, general